Halloween season is in the air. How's it going everybody? It's Fox of the Dead back at it with another video for you guys. Or prior before this video, I've uploaded or I guess posted some pictures of something I was thinking about to upload. For those who went to New Jersey, you guys have an idea what it is. For those who have finally waited for this video to upload for over two weeks, well, you guys are lucky. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Jack the Reaper doll. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the official Jack the Reaper doll. Just kidding. It's not officially from Spirit Halloween, but this is in fact a custom doll. So for those who are not familiar with the dolls at Spirit Halloween, it's a little series where Spirit would like to make dolls even turn animatronic characters into dolls. So like for example, it took the butcher animatronic and turned it into a butcher doll. I did in fact show this to one person over there and that is Carlos Mendoza. For those who don't know who he is, he is a lead artist of the Spirit Halloween designing. I got Carlos to sign this and it was, it was pretty awesome. It was actually pretty cool to meet him in person. So you're probably asking, how was this made exactly? Well. You know, every doll is made out of fabric and cotton and plastic, I guess, in that case. But for this one, okay, so the feet, I would just like to go over the feet right here. These are, in, feet, in fact, like actual, like, skeleton feet from a, from a three-foot skeleton hanger. And these, the hands, are actually 3D printed. In fact, the head is also 3D printed, too. Here's a better look at the face. Can't tell what's actually 3D printed because uh, I added like a coating of black paint or spray paint in that case. So that way, I mean, at the bottom you can kind of see like you can kind of see the layers. But with the black spray paint that I added, it kind of covered up the layers in between the print, and it kind of made it like a solid finish, I guess if that if that makes sense. And I just painted it over and gave it detail, and boom, Jack the Reaper doll. So yes. Um, I really love how this came out. I mean, if I had time, I could have actually gave it audio, but the problem is that we don't really know what Jack the Reaper does. We just know that he's the mascot of Spirit Halloween or the icon of Spirit Halloween in that case. Tell me what y'all think. Do y'all think this is a cool doll? And actually, the actual question is, would you want to buy this? Because I'm thinking about it. Because so, like the plan was, was to bring this at flagship and show this to everyone around, ask questions like say, hey, would you want to buy something like this? So yes, so I'm thinking about it. I'm not guaranteed I will do it, but I'm thinking about it because I didn't do like like the clothing, the cloak, and the base of the body like in here. My grandma actually helped me with this, and I'm a, I'm gonna be honest. She did an, an outstanding, amazing job. I don't know why I don't know why I put those two words together, but she even made the little thing in the back where you could supposedly open up and get I guess get access to a little voice box, but even though it doesn't even come with one. But if I do, I will add one. If I learn how to sew, I will actually make a little business where I make, I guess, the Jack the Reaper doll, or I guess, in a way, I make commissions of dolls where if you guys request, like, say, oh, I want a Cornstalker doll, he, boom, here you go. Or in that case, a Jack Reaper doll, boom, here's one made, another one. Now, I did show this to a couple of my friends, and they also thought this was amazing. Like, they actually thought it was pretty cool. They're like, Dude, this is pretty crazy. Like, man, this speaks for itself. I am planning to go to Transworld, so for those who are going and really want to see this, you will have the chance to meet me and also meet this little guy here too. So, what do you guys actually think about this? Comment down below what you really think about this. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I think that wraps up the video today. So I would like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you liked this video. Smash that like button if you did. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and turning on notifications. That way you guys can notify for more videos like these. If you have a friend or a family member who is interested in looking at this, make sure to share this around. Make sure this thing becomes a big thing. Make sure everyone knows about this. Make sure everyone sees about this. Make sure everyone talks about this. Just kidding. You guys have to, don't really have to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.